begin our program, I'd like you to I'd like to introduce a few special people. Scott Messler, Kent Morrison. Second class scout. My badge is a scroll inscribed with the scout motto. Be prepared. Suspended from the scroll is a sign reminding me to do a mission every day. I'm a first class scout. My badge shows a complete scout number, orderly, eagle and shield, stars and scroll, indicating that I can be behind the scout train. I am a star scout. Before me lies unlimited opportunity, just like the stars in the night sky. I can shine as brightly as any star. I am a life scout, almost an eagle. The heart on my badge shows that I have taken scouting's lessons to heart. I am ready to spread my wings and fly. Yes, in just a few short years, Ian has undergone a miraculous transformation. From someone who struggled to memorize the ocean law to someone who lives these words, from someone who wanted to go camping to someone who's been camping many times, or from someone who needed to be led to someone who can lead others. Well, what exactly does it mean to be an eagle? We've asked Scout Dean Wildman to tell us. We're here to 
tonight to honor a young man, Mr. Clemson Yulio, as we do so to report to reflect on what it is, what it means to be a school. The 1938 handbook for Scoutmasters put it this way. The badges which accompany his achievements and which the scout wears on his uniform are not to show that he has passed a certain test. There should be no past tense but, on the contrary, each badge cries out, I can, right now and here. So what can the Eagle Scout do? Let's take a look at some of the things he has done in preparing for this book. In terms of badges, he has earned scout badges and ranks of tenderfoot, second class, first class, star, flight, and final eagle. Along the way, he earned 12 acquired merit badges and nine elected merit badges. He served in troop leadership positions for a total of 16 months and spent at least 14 hours on service projects, not including many hours he spent on his eagle scout service projects. In all his approximately 325 different <coughs> So what these requirements taught him? Who is the Eagle Scout? First and foremost, of course, he is an outdoorsman. He knows how to camp, swim, hike, use wood tools, build a fire, use camp stove, and find his way with a map and compass. He spent at least 20 days and nights camping out in the field. Hence, he fished on the site he selected. Many of those times, he planned his own men and cooked them. <coughs> Eagle Scout is comfortable with nature. He can identify local animals and plants, including poisonous plants. He understands the causes of water, land, and air pollution, and develops a project to solve environmental problems. He embodies the Scout motto, be prepared. He knows how to treat fractures, head injuries, hypothermia, <coughs> convulsions, frostbite, burns, abdominal pain, muscle cramps, even knocked out sleep. He knows what to do in case of fire, explosions, desert emergency, motor vehicle accident, mountain accident, food poisoning, gas leak, earthquake, flood, tornado, hurricane, atomic emergency, and avalanche. The Eagle Scout is a good citizen. He's been to a city meeting and knows how the city government is organized. He knows who his U.S. Senator and Representative are and has written a letter to one of them about a national meeting. He's read the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. He knows how to manage his money and understands the risks benefits of putting this money into the savings of books, uh, mutual funds, common stock, and real estate. He has set financial goals and worked towards achieving them. Eagle Scout has set <coughs> and worked towards uh, fitness goals. He has competed against himself to the test of aerobic endurance, flexibility, and muscular strength. He knows what it means to be physically, mentally, and socially fit. He's a good family member. He knows what things are important to Talk to his family about finances, drug use, and growing up. All of these things he did in order to earn the merit badges required for you. Beyond those, he earned nine elected merit badges, which introduced him to such subjects as metalworking, collecting, and canoeing. So, what is an Eagle Scout? Well, to quote that old handbook for Scout Masters, he is a young man who is qualified to help others as well as take care of himself. His badge is not a decoration. Knowledge, knowing what to do. 
you. I came in late and got to see the things that he had learned, how he, through his leadership, could teach the younger scouts. <coughs> By becoming an Eagle Scout, you gain more than a medal to wear. You gain some important responsibilities. And so I'm going to ask Sean Kim to outline these responsibilities for you now. Scout sign and repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance. I reaffirm my allegiance to the three premises of the Scout Oath. To the three premises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself and take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities. The obligations and responsibilities of an Eagle Scout. Of an Eagle Scout. On my honor. On my honor. I will do my best. I will do my best. To make my training an example, to make my training an example, my rank and my influence, my rank and my influence, count strongly for better scouting, count strongly for better scouting, and for better citizenship, and for better citizenship, in my troop, in my troop, in my community, in my community, and in my contacts with other people, in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To please be seated. Would the honor guard please escort the candidate's parents forward? <clears throat> Ian, your parents have undoubtedly. 
undoubtedly been your primary source of health and strength. No one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice from your mother. I'd like to ask your mother to pin the Eagle Medal on your uniform now. Your father has also been a source of much advice and guidance along your Eagle Trail. So I'd like him to present the Eagle Scout Certificate to you. Ian's uh, certificate says, Boy Scouts of America is proud to award the rank of Eagle Scout to Ian <coughs> Maxwell Robbins, Troop 679, Spanaway, Washington, in recognition of successful completion of all requirements for Scouting's highest rank. Dated November 21st, 2011, uh, signed by the President of uh, Boy Scouts of America, Brett Tillman, and I'm going to read the rest of these signatures. <laughs> However, And now it gives me great pleasure to present to you our newest Eagle Scout, Ian Rollins.
director of the National Eagle Scout Foundation. <clears throat> we would love to have every new Eagle Scout become a member of the National Eagle Scout Association. A life membership with the NESA would be a wonderful present for the Eagle Scout now, from his troop, from his parents or grandparents, or anyone who is proud of him and wants to show their admiration. A nice NESA membership certificate should be presented with him at the Court of Law. Yeah. Uh, Did you want me to read all of them? No, Sean said, you're always an eagle. Uh, it's going to be with you for life. Anything good happens, it's, they're going to say you're an eagle. And if something bad happens, they're going to say you're an eagle. So you're stuck with it. So, uh, the other thing is, uh, you owe us, you know. We gave you the right to be an eagle. We gave you the chance to be an eagle. You earned eagles, but you owe us. Or like, <laughs> so I, I hope someday that you'll be a scout leader, or at least go with your son to scouts. Uh, and if you don't have a son, maybe support the Girl Scouts. I tried it, and they asked people to leave. But anyway, <laughs> I did try to support her. So, uh, but, what you can do. but anyway, uh, I, I think you, you had great parents.
which and it wasn't a lifelong Jerry. There was a little chair, too little for this big, long, lanky guy. His feet were up to his chin when he sat in it. But somewhere along the line, they found this frog chair, and they carried it and passed it down. And is the frog chair tired? No. No, it's alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for backpacking. Okay. Well, that was pretty funny. And they even had a ceremony handing it down one time. I think. That was pretty funny. And then uh, my favorite analogy on the Negro Eagle ceremony is uh, I like to think that that uh, we're like testing out a car, like the car factories do, you know, where they slam the door a hundred times. I, I like to think that we took Ian out and we slammed him around numerous times and tested his, to see if he was going to complain and did all these things, and, and he passed. As part of the 679, I'm proud to see that he's an eagle, and uh, there was no doubt in my mind he would make it. And I'd like to predict that someday he will give someone first aid, and I'm positive of this. You can't go through life without this happening, but when you're an eagle scout and you've had some training, you're going to jump in and help someone uh, before the other people are standing around kind of twiddling their thumbs thinking, what should I do? I predict he'll, he'll get some the first day before anybody else even moves. Uh, he may even save a life. And you say, how can you predict that? Well, I've been through life, I'm 60 now, and I see that certain people stand around with their tongues in their noses, and some people take action. And I believe that Eagle Scouts take action, and uh, we need them in the world. The way this world is now, we need lots of Eagle Scouts. We need scouts, star scouts. We need any scouts we can get. The world needs us, needs uh, Eagle Scouts especially, but we need leadership. We don't need a bunch of followers. We have enough of those. Uh, anyway, good luck. Thank you. 
together a little bit in the troop, watch each other become adults, and I'll say congratulations again. Name was John Glenn. 
another Eagle Scout. I wonder if there's a trend here with guys doing amazing things that are Eagle Scouts. But I digress. Um, what I wanted to talk about was, uh, I, one of the things I do as an assistant scout master is I help the boys out when they're working on different merit badges. And one of the merit badges I was willing to help out on was collecting, which is a merit badge that uh, Ian had earned. And uh, as he was in the process of, of getting this merit badge, I became his counselor, and we, we worked on his uh, collection, which was a collection of albums. Well, you know, usually when guys collect things, they collect... I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards or, or Transformers or Hot Wheels. But Ian had this great record collection. And the problem I had is he brought in his collection and I'm flipping through these records. And Ian's telling me about these albums. He said, oh yeah, that's actually a, you know, a rare German pressing this album. There are very few of these things. Back. And all I heard was blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow, I'd love to hear this album. Oh, wow, here's another great one too. And every once in a while, I would catch Ian saying something. Oh yeah, these are these are guys that were from Berlin. Um, they only came up with a couple of albums, and they they were really influenced by another band. And I, I got really interested in that stuff. And it was through Ian's interest in his collection that I really became interested in the collection. Not that I wasn't interested in collecting albums, but I've always been a big fan of music. And he actually inspired me to go check out some of these bands. And uh, case of the adult kind of envying the, the youth in this situation. And right now I'm not feeling envy for Ian, I'm just fine, feeling a lot of pride. Good job. Come into camp, they say, Oh, here comes the OGs. 
scouting by his brother, who was also a U.S. scout. And um, you know, there's quite a you know quite a few years of separation between the two. But I always knew that Ian was keeping a, a close eye on his brother, and he was waiting for his chance to be in scouting. And I just remember I, I, it was it was the happiest day of my life when I went by the, the sporting goods store and I bought him his backpack because I really wanted him to have it. I brought it home, and he took it from me. And uh, he had it packed, and it was perfect. <laughs> and it was very unusual, because I've been in scouting a long time. And normally, a first-year scout's got socks and underwear everywhere, and you go to the camp and so forth. But he wasn't like that. He's always been kind of collective, organized. And he always was very serious about his scouting career. He was always a self-starter. Um, he didn't have to be reminded much of what to do with merit badges and so forth. Um, he shows a lot of self-discipline. I think he's got a very bright future. Extremely proud of him. I know his mother feels the same. Um, I've been on a lot of, uh, and here's, here's my, my only regret is that I'm really going to miss you on the trail. Thanks for coming and please join us at the reception. Good night.